Hi everyone, so this video is about mental illness, addiction, borderline, bipolar, those are the kind of, you know, issues that I've been suffering with at the moment. Um, obviously this whole corona thing has caused everyone such anxiety, but if you genuinely struggle from anxiety disorder, everything stresses you out. So it's really such a real thing like Corona that's wiping out the world. It creates so much extra tension. And yeah, with bipolar, you know, I feel very manic at the moment, which is basically a bit of a high. Um, so yeah, you get the depressed side, which is very sad. This is basically what bipolar is. You get the depressed side, which is very low, sad, uh, fatigue, these are the kind of things, loss of interest in activities, and then you get the mania, which is where you probably do very impulsive things, you go shopping, you drive around, you sleep around, whatever it is that is your impulsive behavior, that's what will come out during mania. So two years ago I was diagnosed, and that totally made sense because I have been self-medicating for years through substance. Um, yeah, and you know, I had a trauma that happened to me, you know, my boyfriend OD'd and I found him dead and I didn't really even know he was using, so, like, yeah, I just went to a very dark place after that and obviously substance is the thing that helps a lot, so at the time that was my coping mechanism and yeah, I was just very on a very low time and then I went to treatment and I learned so much in treatment, like especially gratitude, just being grateful for the smallest things, you know, like getting out of your bed in the morning and having a roof over your head, having food and loved ones, you know, it's like there's so much to be grateful for. Um, at the moment, but some people struggle with that and I did, I used to be so not ungrateful, but just, yeah, I suppose, yeah, I'm grateful, and it's, uh, it's been a struggle, but I'm so happy I'm two years clean off of any substance, and it's been amazing, it has been hard though as well, you know, it's, drinking and dragging is such an acceptable thing in this world at the moment, especially, you know, our country, well, I suppose all over as well, and yeah, it's really hard, and it was probably the hardest thing I ever did. I did get sent to treatment. I did, I was willing in the end, but it was quite a struggle before I got there. So yeah, if you're looking to stop addiction, like honestly, it'll change your life. I haven't had the general flu in about two years, and I used to be a sickly person, and that is from alcohol. That is crazy. Um, so yeah. I just, but yeah, bipolar is very hard. I do understand that, you know, we struggle to, we struggle to keep work. We are very irritable all the time. You know, a lady at a toll in a supermarket is enough to make me explode, and I do. So it's hard to maintain friendships and relationships um, as much as you want it, and you don't understand why people are not sticking around, so you kind of then, every time you make a connection there, after you're sort of just waiting for someone to leave again, you know, you don't, your friends that you do have, you completely doubt that they even really care about you, um, that they really make effort, for some reason you just don't think that you're enough in the friendship, and I suppose it's like that with a relationship as well, and you are also, because in the manic phase, you get very talkative, and that can also be a little overwhelming, you know, we take a lot of energy, but it's not our fault, we're amazing people who just struggle a little more, and you know, uh, bipolar has the highest suicide rates, obviously depression as well, so even anxiety is hard, and uh, so everyone is struggling, and yeah, if you if you, uh, are looking to quit and to be a healthier version of yourself. Like I used to see posts about people being clean and I was like, that's never gonna be me. Like I wish and I hope, but it's not for me. Those are other people who can do that because I'm so fucked. But you can, you can. And I've never been happier, never been healthier. Um, yeah, it is a struggle sometimes, like I said, you know, it's not perfect. There's, um, it's definitely a, entertaining life, I'll tell you that much, but I'm happy, I'm happier than I've ever been, and I thank God for medication, for those of you who don't make, take medication and have 
other alternatives as long as you feel stable whatever works for you I'm not against it but personally I feel like medication has completely changed my life and I'm so grateful for it because a lot of people used to commit suicide or things like that because they they can't you know get medication or have other alternatives to help their their mental illness so we are very very grateful I'm so grateful and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, lots more to say, but I can't keep this video too long. So yeah, hopefully I'll do a video soon. And it's something I've been mm -hmm. wanting to do. And now that we're in quarantine, I thought now's the time. <laughs> so yeah, lacquer shots, have a good quarantine.